Hey guys, Jeff Ford here for you discussing a new series around balancing stress within your training. The, the fact of the matter for most athletes out there is it's not just a training game, it's a recovery game. So what we're going to kick things off with is discussing uh, becoming more of a parasympathetic athlete versus a sympathetic athlete. So many of us live, all of us live in a sympathetic world. What that means is when you get that text message or your boss asks you to do something very unexpected and you're drilled down with work, that drives a sympathetic response, meaning you become more stressed out and the stress hormone cortisol tends to go up. What we're missing with most of us is that we're We've got the type A personality to where we never bring ourselves back into that parasympathetic state. That's your rest and recovery state versus that flight or and fight state that we're often, um, many of us, just in all the time. So we're sort of in this mode of uh, always being in overtraining. And this is a result not just of the training, but what's going on with your work life, uh, the responsibilities you have. So the goal and what you want to prioritize is figuring out what are your strategies strategies to become parasympathetic. The best athletes in the world do this really well, meaning uh, maybe you implement a breath practice, maybe you don't uh, train as hard on those highly sympathetic days, or maybe there's some things you've got to eliminate in your lifestyle so that you can uh, focus on recovery a little bit more. Jeff Ford, we'll see you back here next week discussing stress and training.